Hello and welcome. This is the first mission of Dark Beginnings, Burglary in Blackbrook. Um, part of a series of missions I like to call the Arbez series by creator John D. Head. And I call them the Arbez series because of a recurring villain over the course of these missions. Anyway, this is the first, like I said, Black Burglary in Blackbrook. Um, um, you've decided to make a quick little trip to the city of Blackbrook after being invited to do a special job for an old friend, Julian Brenner. As a boy before you met the Keepers, Brenner was the closest thing to a friend you had. He disappeared one day while the two of you were scouting for food in the streets. Years later, the two of you were reunited. Ironically, he too had become a master thief in his own right. Apparently, yeah, that day so long ago, Brenner had been caught stealing food and ended up being sent to a hammer reformatory. His experiences in that place left him with a major contempt for their vision of law and order, and ever since, he's made the Hammer special targets in his nighttime grabs for treasure. Now settled in Blackbrook, where he works with the Shadow Masters Thieves Guild, Brit and, a na and uh, the description switches to Garrett's point of view. Brenner's been after me for a while to pay him a visit in Blackbrook. There's plenty of stuff for the taking, especially from those scum hammers, he said. And best of all, no metal faces in this town. Huh. A mechanist-free area. I thought that was worth would be worth the price of admission. I knew he was going to try to talk me into doing a job for him, but I owed the guy a few favors, so I went along. After all, devoid of mechanist toys, whatever he's after in Blackbrook has to be easy pickings, right? Wrong. Look, Garrett, I've been trying to screw up the nerve to do it myself, but let's face it, I just don't have the skills you do. And if we don't take advantage of their weak security right now, they'll plug the holes and we'll miss out. I listened quietly. What Brenner was proposing involved robbing the Blackbrook chapter of the Hammerites. They've just reopened the prison below the temple. Apparently, with all the commotion in recent times, the town's jails can't hold everyone they're arresting. So the king has gone hat in hand to these punks. I thought I would never see the day, he said. It's worse in the city, I replied. The Hammer High Priest has been playing around with some of Karras's broken toys trying to advance his own agenda, I guess. Brenner snarled at the mention of the High Priest's name. Word has it they don't have a complete alarm system installed yet, but that could change in a matter of days. And when they do, they'll wire up the whole facility and even you won't be able to get the goods. I cracked a smile. You might be surprised, old friend. But it does make sense to do the job now rather than wait and let the hammers improve their security. What's the best way in? Right here, he pointed to a spot on a crude map. The front door, I said in disbelief. Over the wall in the east section, you silly taff. I've got a rope ladder you can climb down real easy-like. Look, the hammers don't dare try to patrol around the streets. It's here at night because the townspeople won't tolerate it, or it, for a second, so they'll rely on on their outer wall and steel doors to keep everyone out. With all the buildings packed so closely together, it'll be easy to get there from the roofs of the nearby buildings. You can lower yourself over the wall and you'll be inside. The place isn't too brightly lit, so it should be easy pickings once you get inside. Yeah, it's the easy jobs that get you killed, I said. The moon will be out tonight, so it won't be as dark. What's your idea on how I'm supposed to get out once I'm down there, from the looks of it? Other than the main gates, which will be locked and barred, there's no way in or out except for a long climb over the wall. Not topside, but in the prison area there's a tunnel leading to the sewer system. The doors to it are sure to be locked, but I'm sure you can handle it. Once you get to the sewers, you're home for free. Plenty of places to make your escape from there. I couldn't help but laugh, so to get free I'll have to sneak into jail. Only you could come up with a plan like that. I think I'll stick to the wall climb. Time to get started. A couple of hours later. Well, I'm not going back over that wall like I'd planned. On the way down, the rope ladder broke. Luckily, I was close to the pavement and landed without injury. That's what I get for relying on Brenner to get good equipment. Looks like I'm going to have to find my way out by the sewer route anyway. After all, time to begin. Okay, burglary in Blackbrook. Brenner says the place is loaded. So it's a good idea to max out on cash. Rob the place for 2,500 in treasures. The hammers have an expensive ceremonial hammer somewhere in the place. Probably in the priest's quarters. Take it off their hands. 
The novices would sure be glad to see the Hammer of Initiation gone. You've heard some nasty rumors about how it's used. Everyone loves secrets, except those who wish to conceal them. See if you can dig up some dirt on the hammers, perhaps a diary. A professional doesn't go around killing innocents. Leave the unarmed citizens alone. A rival chapter of the hammers, the Sword Brothers, claims that the silver chisel rightly belongs to them. You don't really care about their claims, but they're offering big money to whoever can get it for them. Underneath the complex near the underground prison lies a small complex of tombs. Rumor has it that the fabled Golden Horn lies there. Lay your hands on it. An associate of Brenner's who's locked away in the Hammer's prison by the name of Danger is Dave. The Shadow Master's Thieves Guild would be grateful if you got him out of there. You won't make a good impression on the Shadow Master's Guild if you bring Dave back dead, so keep him alive. The Hammer's in Blackbrook may not be popular, but leaving a trail of bodies will only bring on the heat that no one needs. Kill no one. Once you're done, escape through the sewer tunnels that connect the prison comp. Flex. Damn. I knew better than to use that old rope. Well, I'd better get to work. Oh, it seems peaceful now. <clears throat> halt! See someone there? Until our new alarm system is installed by Brother Logath, keep double patrols until further notice. Father Karayan. Sips. Those can be picked up and thrown, but there's no point in doing so. Not right now. These are prayer and meditation chambers. Assistant to the Chief Priest, Father Nikolai Karayan. should have forbade it then, but I looked the other way when Brother Michael stole a golden idol sitting on top of one of the many graves in the tombs lying below our house of worship. Crypts down there predate our buildings here. Now we can use it Now we use it to bury our dead, too. That day we entered the tombs to pay our last respects to our high priest, Jun. Snatching the old relic, he said, The gold in this dirty thing will be better used in our hands than sitting down here, where it can't do anything for its former unbelieving owners, he said with a smile. After all, why should the heathen take their rest, washing treasures while the builder's house lies in ruins? At the time, I was furious at some of the insults some of the townspeople had hurled at me as I was assisting Brother Andros with buying much-needed items at foodstuffs at the local market the previous day. Andros was filled with rage at their unprovoked blasphemy against us and our god, and would have slewed half the people in the square had it not restrained it, 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 him to be silent. Still angry, I agreed with his action, taking sinful pleasure in depriving the faithless of some of their goods, and turned a blinded eye to his theft. Now things are getting out of control. Michael has been sneaking into the tombs on a regular basis, robbing more and more artifacts. After pounding the statues into gold plates and selling them to some unscrupulous merchants outside of town, he's slowly been putting the money into offerings, making it look like our small congregation was contributing more. I think he's also 
but putting a significant amount in his own pockets too. Dunwall is delighted and has been steadily restoring our temple over the last few weeks. If he knew the truth, we might end up in being beaten with the hammer of discipline or even locked away in crags cleft. At least, that's the least of my worries now. Some of the unbelievers buried down there did terrible things in their lives. And some of their dark deeds might come back to haunt us, should they be disturbed. I've already left a letter locked away in Brother Mike's room, and I intend to firmly repeat the message in person as soon as I find him. This has gone too far. Yeah, I p gave, gave a, uh, an attempt at a country western accent into a character named Nikolai, for no particular reason. Treasurer and Chief of Administration, Brother Michael. Brother Mike, art thou a fool? I knew when I gave my consent by previous silence that I had trespassed against the builder, but no more. Do not, I repeat, do not enter the tombs again. Brother Wilkins mentioned to me that he saw you down there the day before. I know what you're up to. It's one thing to take some gold coins and items and then left around the graves of the unbelievers that derided us in life down there, but it's another thing to start actually breaking into crypts of unknown age and origin. Who knows what that might stir up. Stop this foolishness now and let us never speak of this matter again. Brother Karai. B.S. After you destroy this, after you read this note, destroy it and go to the ceremonial waters to undergo the ritual of cleansing. And pray the Builder forgives us both. And here's, here's a book by Brother, Brother Mike, His Dirty Little Secret. Brother Karayan has lost his nerve, I suppose. He should quit complaining and take a look at around him at our renovated sanctuary. What was full of rotten decay has now been rebuilt into something we can show to our followers without being ashamed. Has the Builder not willed it so? What good will all those treasures lying in the tombs below do for those who lie there? Those tombs date from before our sanctuary was built here, so it's not like I'm robbing from our own. Why not use the wasted wealth of the heathen? What our good priest Dunwall doesn't know won't do them any harm. Tonight I'll return to the pauper's pit to retrieve the golden horn. I hid there after I first investigated one of the older crypts. Then I'll be done with this whole business. With the money we are getting from the king to handle the surplus of his overcrowded jails, no one should notice. Time to go. I should be back in a couple of hours. And up there is a secret panel. <sighs> Most likely squirreled away by Brother Michael. Iron Chapel. There's a service going on. Let's not disturb them. The Bath of Ceremonial Cleansing, which Nikolai Karayan mentioned in his note to Brother Mike. Michael, whatever. Printing room. some printing presses, and some plates. Here's a big library. Up here. A History of the Haunted Isle and the Lost Fortress by Brother Marcus. This is a call forward to a later mission in John head series of fan missions. There are one or two people looking around in the library, but no need to bother them right now. Check in out record. Hold. Hello? Hello? That was lucky. 
call down the wrath of the builder on me who has done this. Now I think there's one more guard patrolling around. Yeah, there he is. Let's get him before he notices the others that are knocked out. Okay. Now this chapel is actually called the Chapel of the Starry Wisdom, which is probably a reference to H.P. Lovecraft. You can see the stars there from which it gets its name. Who, Who passes that? there? I believe, to a museum with a bunch of, of relics. Glasses of St. Elias. Pagan mask from the Age of Ignorance. The Rosary of St. Ilias. Well, that's some revisionist history. Replica of the fake eye used by a brave novice to thwart the plans of the trickster. The relic of Saint Ander. The skull of Saint Cania the Healer. I hope this thing is empty. Unknown heretic device known as a rust gas container. Early navigational globe which enabled our missionaries to spread the Builder's words beyond the seas. Glasswork from left to right, the angel, the Builder's melody, the revelation of knowledge, blessing of the crops, martyrdom of St. Eric. High chapel. This has the ceremonial hammer. That's our objective. Seems strange that something called the High Chapel wouldn't have guards. And another of our objectives is in here. Head of Blackbrook Sanctuary, Priest Thomas Dunwall. Despite our small congregation, over the last month, Brother Mike reports that giving has nearly doubled. The Builder has obviously stirred the hearts of the congregation to grant us this extra support. I have allocated the money to renovate both chapels and get the repairs done that we have needed desperately for so long. Now our sanctuary has regained much of the glory it once had. Praise the Builder for his love of the faithful. In spite of these good tidings, my heart is burdened with concern for the future of the Order news from the city and correspondence with High Priest Valens has proved disturbing. Since our High Priest took office just over two years ago, he's completely changed the fortunes of the Order. Our numbers in the city and surrounding regions have nearly tripled and our influence is slowly but surely rising. The city nobles who once mocked the Order of the Hammer now speak in more respectful tones. Perhaps fearful would be the, the accurate term. The reopening of Christcliffe and the recent construction of a new holding facility in the city would have something to do with that. Valens obviously wants to recapture the power and glory of the past. But at what cost? Much of the recent gains in numbers of new acolytes has been due to a lowering of our high standards. He calls them simplifying. Not to mention the scandal of reabsorbing many schismatic brethren, ranging from the Sword Brothers who abandoned wielding the righteous hammer and carrying in order to carry swords so they would be treated with not as much contempt in this town as we are, to men who were among our numbers before leaving to join that heretic Karis. Now that Karis is gone, many of them want back in not out of true repentance, but out of the selfish desire to be part of the in-crowd. I say shut out those who abandoned us in the troubled times. If they truly repent, the builder may yet grant mercy on them. 
but let us not risk the ruin of our own souls by letting in those who might yet still hold some of the most false beliefs. The compromise does not stop there. It is an ill-kept secret among our order that Valens has the Council of Master Forgers working day and night to dissect and duplicate Machinist technology. Despite disaster and humiliation the Bilger has righteously inflicted on his programs, he yet presses on. They say he now dresses more like a prince than a priest of the Bilger. What happened to that young and brave man I saw not so long ago, who fought side by side with the mighty Thorin, our courageous fighter of the undead at the site of the haunted cathedral at the in the old quarter, when brave brothers came from Blackbrook to Syrac and from beyond the seas to join hands with our brothers in the city to support the Baron's invasion of the old quarter. We all knew that the Baron was just trying to erase his military humiliation at the hands of Blackbrook in the recent war, but we also knew in our hearts that the time had come to retake our old cathedral and avenge ourselves on the evil forces that had overrun it. Striking deep into the old quarter and reaching the area, we found ourselves unable to break down the mighty sealed doors of the old cathedral until Thorin blew a hole through the side of the building with a sunburst device to gain entry. How terrible the struggle was when we stormed the place. Hammer swung left and right, flash bombs exploding with blinding light, the horrible attacks from the evil apparitions, our novices bravely rushing into the fray to throw holy water on our dead and dragging them off to be burned so they might not be transformed into new enemies. Through the evening and into the night, we fought the unholy ones to hang on to the buildings we had gained, knowing we could expect little help from the city army during the night due to their struggles to hold the ground they had gained. Valens and Thorin ran along among the groups of our warriors, striking zombies down and crying out to the builder for aid as they led our brothers a courageous example. My own life was saved from a haunt that slammed into me, me into the ground and raised its sword to strike when Valens struck it down with the builder's fire. As dawn approached, our men, now half in number, saw the torches of the city army as it advanced down the street to our positions. To the explosions of fire, arrows, and shrieks of slain undead, we knew we had survived and succeeded. I'll never forget the sight of that courageous priest standing before the defiled altar, pouring holy water to cleanse it and saying, Shall we wail and gnash our teeth? Nay, we shall build anew. That which was once ours now belongs to us again. Once again, and by the builder's power, we shall never relinquish it a second time. There is not one of us who did not weep with joy. Valens, who hath bewitched you? Open thy eyes. Got a key to the prison, a bracelet, the silver chisel, which is one of our objectives, and some coins. Nice fancy telescope here. Get some coins out of this fountain. Gear from our new factories. The ceremonial hammer of High Priest Tenor. Modern work hammer. Ancient work hammer. Holy hammer of blessing. Old stone hammer. The jeweled dagger of St. Thames. Blackjack common thieves tool. area and sparring grounds. Now this part is the parade grounds part of it. whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Here are the sparring grounds. Or a sparring cage, whatever. <coughs> Training room. We can't get through the door, but we can go through this service entrance. <coughs> <laughs> 
After talking with Brother Murkrow, I have decided to make boat practice mandatory for all new novices. Boat practice will be done twice a week after services. With skill in archery, as well as the might of the hammer, we will become even more adept in dealing with evildoers. Brother Wilkins, master at arms. Now this guy's busy beating on that training dummy. Let's not bother him. Put the sparring area to good use today, Brother Wilkins. The Builder smiles upon our strivings to refine our warrior skills. We haven't had any fatalities this month. My only wish now is that the brothers would be as diligent in their practice of bow and spear in the training room. With the mastery of projectile, as well as may the weapons are ordered, we'll have the benefit of becoming more well-rounded fighters, and we'll finally be able to fire those drunken bowmen we have on staff. Brother Mercuro. Vigilance is our shield. Dead. It's a hammer right bowman. hymns playing over this uh, speaker system here. You may yeah, there are quite a few advancements in this mission and for the hammers um, because of their new high priest, he's the controversial reformist Valens. Here is a, a passage to the prison area. I just, let's unlock that. This is actually the second time in recording in this. Just the uh, one I did before was pretty rough. I thought I got lost a lot, so I'm trying to do a bit better on this one. Regimens and Rules of Conduct, Volume 236. Spiritual, physical, and social development are the triad that brings strength to the order and glory to the Builder. All true brothers must be of orthodox belief and work together for the glory of the Builder, as unhewn stones were brought together to form the holy altars in the earliest ages of his divine revelations. A true brother is wise in his the ways of this corrupt world, but does not partake in its sins. He doth seek the ways of the Builder in his heart and deeds, and stands shoulder to shoulder with his fellow brethren who do so as well. Be true to thy faith and follow the tenets. Then the Builder will bless your holy works and noble deeds done in his service. Good, I'm going to be 
need to wait for the, the hammer is an upgraded me. version of that at, Nothing to at see camera now. from Crag's Cleft here. What was that I heard? Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. Knowledge. Turn off that camera. Does thou remember the little thug we brought in this evening for defacing one of our murals on the outer wall, Brother Hurl? Yes, the Cretan thought he had an easy escape into the streets of this town until he discovered Brother Andros standing behind him. I know he's supposed to be logged in and held in cell block one. However, after being spat upon and struggling to restrain the bastard eye and one of the Blackbrook deputies decided to take him to the secure wing. He's now in cell block two with Big J, who will show him the error of his ways tonight. Please don't mention this to Brother Andros or anyone else. When I get back in the morning, I'll have what's left of him dragged out and thrown into a cell by those annoying actors and officially logged in. That will teach him to disrespect the order of the hammer. Brother Chewwolf. Since when has the Order of the Hammer served as jailers for the King of Blackbrook? I know Priest Dunwall means well in responding to the King's plea, not to mention the great benefits of the ruler's large gift and the lifting of restrictions on our missionaries to the forest dwellers of the area. However, I fear we may be laying a snare for ourselves by doing this public service. With the exception of some ruffians in Cell Block 2, many of the prisoners we're getting aren't guilty of the recent rash of murders, arsons, and thieving. Most of those sinners have already been hung, but rather those by their words or acts of protest have displeased the king. We even have a troop of actors locked away down here for the offense of staging a play that mocked the king's extravagant lifestyle. For their battles and quarrels, he and the city baron could be brothers for the similarity of their follies and greed. Fortunately, Priest Dunwall plans to release them later this week when the king goes off on one of his hunting trips. No doubt they'll never come back to Blackbrook ever again. A pity. I do like some of their plays about morality. A bit unconventional, but in agreement with our tenets. Should there ever be a backlash from the nobility or common folk about these confinements, we would undoubtedly be regarded as his partners in oppression. How ironic it would be. For during the recent war, the king often insulted and oppressed our order, calling us the street dogs and insinuating we were betraying him to the Baron, despite the fact that our engineers helped fortify this miserable town against two sieges by the city army. It's good to hear that High Priest Valens has ordered that our brethren in the city no longer support the Baron with his military, with military aid and his unrighteous grabs for landed power. Wonderful news indeed. Now if he would just take his firm a stand against those heretical mechanists, Brother Andros. Small weapons lock up here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. There's a holy water font that will be mentioned in the later. Who's there? Uh, Who there? said that? Get these guys, then get this guy. This guy has a really big hammer. Like a huge war hammer, much bigger than a regular hammer's uh, hammer. Sword models. Uh, 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 Garrett's too in this mission. And some new hammer models. Let's move along. 
key to secure cell three. We need that to get Dave out of of lockup. We'll be getting more prisoners soon, so make sure this block is ready to handle them. Uh, right now, the current inmates are one. Our cell one, six Sam, likes kids, enough said. Andros is begging to drag this guy into the torture room. If the king doesn't hurry up and send us this foul fiend soon, I may let him. Cell five, arson, Eddie, firelighter, non-violent, but he can shoot. But make sure he can't get his hands on anything that can burn. Cell 7. Some guy named Ralph. Crime? Uh, has anyone heard from the deputies about why he's here? Nobody's telling me anything. Just keep an eye on him. Cell 9. Dangerous Dave. Thief. Brawler. Suspected in the murders of several mechanists. Quit cheering, boys. He hates our guts, too. Had to beat him unconscious earlier during an escape attempt. Don't try to handle this guy with fewer than three men. Note. Has now been moved to secure wing... Room 3, Brother Royce. Special Isolation Ward. Andros, when you read this letter, our men should already have begun making their sweep. While you were away on a supply run around sundown, screams were heard from the north wing of cell block two, near the doors to the old crypts. Isn't that the place you told me the prisoners held there kept saying they heard strange noises late at night? Probably rats or more of those cursed spiders that keep showing up. When I and two of the brothers arrived, we found the crypt doors were open and two of the cells had been forced open. One prisoner was dead and two others missing. We immediately shut and locked the crypt doors, stationing a guard there and notifying our superiors. Priest Dunwall was off on his meeting with the king, so we notified Father Karayan immediately, who insisted, who rushed down here so quickly it startled us. He ordered that the dead man's body be burned, and the ashes scattered. I swear he's going to start a panic. He keeps babbling about an undead outbreak imminent, and he's even had one of the holy water fountains dragged down here to her, her weapons room. Anyway, I've had to hurry up. I have to hurry up now, but I wanted thou to know, so you would be wondering what's going on. I and four other brothers will be entering the crypts from cell block two, while brothers Quentin and Murkrow are already moving down here with three novices from the top side crypt entrance. A little bit of overkill for two fugitives, if you ask me. Just make sure no one else tries to escape, and watch the sewer entrance while you're at it, Brother Royce. Oh, P.S. If you see Brother Mike, tell him to find... Father Karayan. He's been running like a scared bird looking for him. You might check the old interrogation room first. I've seen him going in and out of there in recent days. In the interest of not having to babysit it, Dave, I'm going to leave him by the... the uh... Don't hurt me. <laughs> um, it's just you and me, kid. <laughs> Help! Help! Give it up, boy. You don't want me to take it. Hurry! Over here! Save me! <laughs> Help! Help! Don't let him get me! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I'd sure oh. Hate to that guy. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, I, I have nothing to add. I'll let you interpret what was going on in there. Alright. Secure cells open and we got Dave. Now, before I was interrupted by a, that prisoner, I'm going to... I, In the interest of just not having to babysit Dave so much, I'm going to leave him over here. Oh, <coughs> crap. I better put out that torch. I'm going to leave him here in this anteroom to the sewers. Wait, did I find, did I not get the key? No, I didn't. Whatever. I'll find it eventually. Anyway. Huh? Identify that son. So. Anyway, so I don't have to carry him around the whole mission. I'll just leave him by the sewers, which is our exit point. <coughs>
There are the cells that were found broken open and the prisoners missing. The guy has a key to the crypt. I usually enter from the street level and then my, make my way back to the prison again. Here's the fact-finding room. I believe even the hammer is called the interrogation room, torture chamber, whatever you want to call it. Now, besides this annoying blinking light, there's also a switch to open this little cache of swag that Brother Michael secreted for himself. There's the key to the sewers. Yeah, I accidentally hit one of those switches. <laughs> Cell block one. Nothing but a few protesters and actors. Why are we wasting our time with these people? One thing's for sure, you don't piss off the king in this town. They'll be all right under our watch, as long as they're not foolish enough to make an escape attempt. the sewers. There's and put Dave in the ante room to the sewers. as well just enter this way. Hey, make my way in reverse from what I usually do. There are a lot of undead in here. Gotta be careful. the hammer. There's in um, a side room. Just gonna get the drop on the haunt here. The hammer should make quick work of the zombies. I mean, I hope. And I'll, then I'll proceed to knock them out. Bye. 
going in the theater, I shall to me. be out. The steel what of vengeance is unsheathed and awake. Life poured out. How the faithful spoke, saying, Lo, with the scepter of righteousness has just been forged. Now that well, looks well, like well, a novice, but he a actually shoots spells like a priest. Keep your eyes up. Jun. Priest Jun, forever faithful during our darkest hours. May he serve the Builder in the Blessed Forge forever. And he has a nice gilded sarcophagus. Builder, save us with your mighty power. We're in a jam. Karayan was right. How could he have guessed? We should have been more careful and not split up. How foolish we were. Upon entering the tombs, we did not get very far before running headfirst into one of our novices from Murkrow's group, who was screaming that they were all slain and there were undead everywhere. And there are! Before we could even take a step back, they were upon us, attacking from all around. Finding ourselves cut off and overwhelmed, we fled here. Even in death, Priest Jun still shines, shields us from harm, thanks to the Builder. We barricaded the tomb doors, and they seem to be holding for now. There are only four of us left. Everyone else is dead at the hands of the Unholy Ones. How could this have happened? Never in the history of Blackbrook has there been an undead incident. I just hope Karayan will realize something's wrong and get the rest of the brothers down here now. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until next morning and try to break out then, if we last that long. Royce. So, a bunch of undead have, have broken and out here. Why could that be? Well, obviously because of Brother Mike's pet. But, uh... This is what this is the reason for the t for the uh, in here is the reason for the outbreak of the undead. The tomb of the heretic do not enter under any circumstances. myself out of there, but it's not important. And I already got everything from there. mention the pauper's pit having a horn. Oh, and a bunch of spiders. Oh, whatever, I'll just use the sword.
There's the horn. Still a few more things to grab. All we need, need to do now is find the Hammer of Initiation and uh, get out with Dave. Seems gone now. And the word went before them. Shouldn't be too far to the novices' quarters. Or... map. The barracks, so the I must be close to where the Yeah, there's the hammer. Now all we need to do is get it out through the sewers of the day. There are some novices playing for or some coins with dice. Let's not disturb them. Basically, the hammer of initiation is used to haze novices.
Brother Wilkins, Master at Arms. So the King of Blackbrook comes to us hat in hand after so many years of persecution and humiliation, eh? Can't control the evildoers without us. Too bad, I would say, but Valens has instructed Dunwall to give full cooperation to the King's anti-crime efforts, or more like anti-criticism efforts, judging by the occupants of Cell Block 1. At least the King's lawmen are in line now, especially after that little brawl with Brother Andros when he caught up with two of them abusing one of the prisoners for no reason. As a result, we've got most of them shipped in with the exception, shipped out with the exception of some bowmen who treat us with a little more respect now that they've seen what an angry brother can do. Speaking of Andros, he mentioned to me the other day that the prisoners in the north wing of cell block two were complaining about strange noises at night. <laughs> They're probably just nervous about being so close to our old fact-finding room. They needn't worry, though. Dunwall has forbade its use in all but the most extreme cases of heresy. Wraps it up. Time to finish this mission. Brothers, even when thou art not on duty in the prison area, be vigilant. With all other exits from the underground area locked and sealed, if there is a breakout, the escapees will likely come this way. And no more quarreling with the deputies the king so generously provided to assist us with the handling of the prisoners. They are here to help us, so show them all due honor and respect. Priest Dunwall. <laughs> Alright, again. Only thing left to do is... Get Dave and get out of here.
first mission of Dark Beginnings complete. Next mission, Shadows of the Past, also known as a spooky interlude. See you then.